this is going to be a nightmare to film hello welcome back to my channel my name's Catherine. if you didn't already know as you'll see by the title today i'm going to be doing a fake tan review of the centre fake tan product i actually didn't just try out the fake tan i tried out the tan remover the moisturizer the face cream and also the tan itself so yeah if you want to hear my thoughts on what i think of the tan how i use the products if it's worth the money and also just my general fake tan routine then do keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe down below give the video a thumbs up and other than that let's get into it okay so i'm gonna run through my fake tan routine and kind of how i incorporated these products into my routine and how i found using them when it comes to my fake tan routine the first part for me is obviously prepping my skin that means exfoliating and removing the old layer of tan so what i like to do in terms of that is go ahead and actually scrub off my old layer of tan i make sure that when i'm doing this process that i use um, a mitt to scrub off the tan i usually run a really really hot bath that just helps start to kind of sink your skin into warm water and help the tan remove quicker and easier saint actually have a fake tan removal product to see if it made it any easier to remove the tan whether this actually aided that so i popped on a couple of pumps of this and worked it all into my skin it recommends to leave it on for five minutes so i did that and while this was um kind of like melting into my old layer of tan and hopefully removing it, um, I did a bit of skincare. So I always like to, when I'm exfoliating, do some sort of skincare at the same time. Recently, I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury um, Goddess Cleansing Ritual, and it's basically like two different face masks that you do. So while the tan remover was kind of sinking into my skin for the five minutes, I did do a couple of face masks, and the Charlotte Tilbury skincare leaves my skin feeling so soft. I've been using the skincare now for a good month or so, and I literally, literally love it. And then I obviously run a really, really hot bath um i use some sort of like moisturizing bubble bath um to just make it super bubbly then when i got into the bath and i um used my exfoliating mitt which is also from saint Tropez, to start to scrub off the tan and the tan remover did actually work um so it only meant I had to exfoliate once to get my old layer of tan off and the tan did just start to melt off. Like, I don't know what's in this, but it really did work. Um, so I was really impressed with this. It's £14.50, which I really don't think is expensive if it's going to make your exfoliating process so much easier. So for me, it means sometimes I would have to exfoliate twice to actually get off the layer and make sure it's not like too snake skinny or like tiger bread texture um but this actually really did get it off so i'm going to continue to use this and i think it's going to save me a lot of time when it comes to exfoliation so this in conjunction with a really hot bath is like the perfect combination to get rid of your old layer of tan so i definitely will be continuing using this and would recommend this product 100 percent when i'm also in the bath i also shave my skin to make sure it's super smooth before i apply any fake tan so i do that as well and i also recommend and washing your hair um at that point in the process don't wash your hair on the same day on the same day that you're going to fake tan because you don't want any like drips of wet hair to ruin your tan um so i'd recommend washing your hair if you're doing this all the night before i kind of do all those steps the day before and then once i've fully exfoliated i would recommend letting your skin breathe for I mean, I gave it 24 hours because it just ensures your pores are closed and when you apply the layer of fake tan, you're not going to have any of those like drops on your skin that you sometimes get if you exfoliate and then fake tan straight away. I'd leave it a, like a couple of hours if you can, but I just left it a whole day um, and did like my prep the night before I fake tanned the next day so if you're able and have time then I would totally recommend doing that and yeah I absolutely love the tan remover like it was honestly so so good and yeah I just recommend following those steps a nice hot bath um a really good exfoliator mitt a tan remover to assist you with that um especially if you use quite a dark tan sometimes it can be hard to get the tan off so yeah that was a really that was a hit for me um and I will continue to be using that comes to obviously fake tanning 
um you're gonna need a tanning mitt so obviously apply the tan with you can get them anywhere like super cheap um but i would recommend investing in one that you can use multiple times and is machine washable um so then you don't have to keep picking one up so i have the one from bondi sands and it's lasted me months and you can wash it and yeah it's a really good investment and just pick up really cheap tanning mitts so it's totally up to you and the tan i used was the saint tropez self tan and i picked up the extra dark because i wanted to try it i love the bondi sands ultra dark tan um it does sometimes ha it it does have a bit of a green undertone to that one though whereas so i was interested to see kind of like how green this might be because sometimes if you go a bit dark um your tan can yeah be a bit more on the green side which isn't always great this was quite expensive so this was 34 pounds which is quite a lot for a tan but i'm gonna talk about it so i popped on just one layer of this um just to see what the result was and how dark it did go just using one layer so in terms of application it was it is a mousse like it's obviously a mousse tan um but it is more on the liquidy side so you really do have to work it into the skin sometimes a thicker tan can just does just apply really easily whereas this is a bit um thinner in texture so you really do have to work it into the skin it obviously is quite dark so i would make sure you spend enough time working it into your skin i put it all over my body on I always do that. I'll put it all over my body. And it it took me a good while to work it into the skin, I can't lie. But the colour is honestly the most beautiful tan I have ever used. It is literally a lovely, lovely colour. It has like more of an olive undertone. It does not have a green undertone at all. And I just found that it was a beautiful colour. So I did really like that. Um, it did leave... It did finish a little bit tacky and sticky um, rather than sometimes you just put the fake tan on and you can't even feel it at all. But it did have like a kind of sticky finish and then it did dry down, but that took quite a while. So it does take a while to dry this tan. So I would properly work it into the skin and then put on really, really baggy clothes or like some sort of silky like clothes or something because it does have a bit of a tacky kind of feel to it but as i say i do really like the color the smell it wasn't like a great smelling tan it just smelled of like fake tan it didn't have any sort of like scent to it you know how like some tans have coconut scent or more like tropical scent whereas this just smelled of fake tan so for the price you're paying that is a little bit disappointing i'd i'd like it to smell a bit nicer because i'm paying more money for it but it was it well it is a lovely lovely color so i think that's what you're paying for and it does feel really nice on the skin and your skin does feel really soft um so in terms of that i did really really like it would i spend like 34 pounds every time on a tan probably not but if I had like an occasion or I wanted to have like the nicest tan possible, then I would definitely recommend using this. Like if you had like a wedding to go to or like a really important event or you were going on holiday and you just wanted a really nice colour to you, then I would definitely recommend this for its colour um, and I as I say I only put on one layer to start with and I was really really impressed with the payoff it, I felt like I could easily go out and not need another layer once obviously you've applied your tan and put on your like baggy clothes then you'll want it to develop I think this one recommended eight hours um I always sleep in my tan um overnight just to let it develop that bit more so I probably had that one on for 18 hours before I rinsed it off it did transfer a little bit onto my sheets but not majorly um and it yeah so it did transfer a little bit so I would be cautious of that but you're gonna get that with most hands to be honest and then when I rinsed it off it definitely rinsed off like um not greeny color it was more like an orangey olive color which was which just goes to show that is the undertone of the tan i can't stress how nice the color is i decided to go in with the um body lotion all over my body to keep it moisturized and topped up the lotion is actually lovely like it's really really um it's really thick but it feels really like premium and 
it leaves your skin feeling super soft and it's nice because it's like a white cream rather than a cream with a tint in it sometimes tanning gradual tanning moisturizers have like a color to them but i liked that it was white and it was really really thick the only thing is with this bottle i know i'm gonna get through it really quickly um if i'm applying it every day all over my body so it was 14 pounds 50 which isn't bad for um like a gradual everyday lotion but i know i'm gonna get through this in probably like i'm not even kidding probably like a week whereas the bondi sands gradual tanning milk i probably only need a bottle once every three weeks for that so yeah that's the only thing is i know i'm gonna get through this so quickly but it is a lovely moisturizer i did decide to try the face tan moisturizer which is like a mini a mini version of the um body tan and i thought it was such a cute idea i've never used something that's separate from my face so i thought i'd give this a go again this was 14 pound 50 as well um which is a little bit pricey but it's obviously really it's really nice to have a face cream so i put this on i put this on first when i applied the fake tan and then i mixed it with a little bit of the fake tan just so that my face would be the same color and the only thing with this is that i was quite scared at the beginning because it stung a little bit and i don't know whether that was just me reacting to it slightly my skin didn't go red or anything but it was just a little bit tingly and i don't know whether that's an ingredient an ingredient in the face tan itself or whether that was just the way my skin reacts to it but apart from that it was fine and it was really easy to apply so i applied that the next day as well when i was putting on the moisturizer and it was just nice to apply to my face it meant i could then spend the day without wearing any makeup because my face was tanned and everything was even so yeah that was a positive i don't know if i would be inclined to pick up the face moisturizer again like i don't know if it's a standout product that i would invest in all the time whereas the everyday lotion i definitely would pick this up again um but as i said i will get through this so quickly but i don't know about the face one i'm not like sold on it like i don't think it's a, a holy grail must have sort of product but it, it did the job and it obviously keeps your tan nice and topped up when it comes to my fake tan routine i do usually um fake tan twice so i repeat the tanning process twice usually in any one week so i thought i would do that with this just to see um like the result so i did put on a second layer the following day of the extra dark um tan just to see kind of what the color was like and if that made it any darker or if it kind of was a step too far i really don't think it is like the color is so nice i'm it's literally like so natural like i don't think you can tell it's fake tan and i think that's probably what you're paying for like it is it is premium it's a bit more luxurious and it does just look natural so i yeah i put on a second layer and i was really impressed with the color when i rinsed it off it was not too dark at all like it's rinsed off a beautiful like brown tan so yeah i i would recommend putting on two layers of this either like straight after you put on the first layer or you can do what i do and sleep in it rinse it off put on the second layer sleep in it rinse it off like that process um that will probably get you the best results in all honesty so yeah that's what i did <laughs> and this is sort of the payoff of the tan which i am super impressed with and i do really like it so in terms of cost as i've said it is more on the expensive side like i think it is the most expensive tan out there that you'll find in like a high street um like super drug boot sort of shop obviously 34 pounds for a tan is is a lot like it is it's not cheap and this is just a standard size so it's not like you're paying more and getting more product however because you're using an extra dark shade you might not require as many layers as you would if you were using another tan for example so i think i might not get through it as quickly um so it might last a little bit longer but it's still like double some of or probably one and a half times more expensive as another tan i would use so i could almost get two bottles of another tan for the price of this um 
I will definitely be using the tan remover again. I think that is a really good find and I think £14.50 for that is reasonable and it's the same size as the fake tan so this will probably last me quite a while i'm um, obviously going to continue to use the other two um, moisturizers i think i'll pick this one up again but i'm not sold on the face tan itself i probably would pick up the extra dark saint -Tropez again if i but i would only use it for probably more events like if i was going out or if i was going yeah if i needed to have like a really really perfect tan um and that's probably when i'd use it but i'd probably wouldn't i don't know if i'd use it all the time like week in week out because that obviously would cost quite a lot it honestly is the nicest color tan i've ever used so in that respect i couldn't recommend it enough and it does have like a, the few things that I don't particularly like are the smell and the sticky feeling um, that it left after directly applying it. But um, the actual colour and the payoff and the way it's left my skin, I'm very impressed. And obviously that's what you're paying a bit more money for, I presume. So that it has lived up to its expectations in that respect. And I would be willing to spend that but probably not week in week out um but yeah i did really like the results yeah that's all my faults i hope you found this video useful um and yeah do give it a thumbs up subscribe follow me on instagram as well um and i'm sure i'll see you very soon with another video bye